Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. You may delete as appropriate. My name is Chad Landman, and thank you so much for tuning into the channel. If you would go ahead and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this and other nerdy EDC things, then go ahead and hit that like button as well. And we're gonna talk about my tiny EDC today, and this is just a little pouch that I carry with me uh, that's got a bunch of tiny little tools in it that have got me out of binds uh, multiple times before. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Here it is, just your tiny EDC. This is a little pouch I got off of Amazon. It's a Lewis and Clark brand RFID pouch. I don't hold anything in here that's sensitive um, to radio frequency um, stuff, but it's got a very simple um, zipper on here and a very sturdy kind of reinforced belt clip. It's plastic, but it's still very, very rugged. And I usually do use it to clip onto pretty much anything. I've got another one in black. Uh, these will set you back a grand total of like nine bucks. They're very nice little pouches. So let's get into what's inside. I've got this thing packed with a couple of little tools and resources that it's very nice to have most of the time. The first is a Phoenix LD02 uh, little torch, little light. And it's a very good little light. It has uh, very good brightness. It's got a belt clip in case you want to clip it to your belt right there. Pretty well designed belt clip. And it's got a nice little click um, thing. Very easy to push at the back. And of course you can see it's pretty small and it works for what it's uh, designed to do. That is the Phoenix LD2. Next thing I have on here is a Uncle Bill's Sliver Grippers. These are little tweezers that are amazing. And you just grab them like this, you pinch and pull them out. They lock in this little holding thing to where you're not going to poke yourself or anything like that. You can actually put a little clip on there if you really want to, hang those from something if you want, but these little tweezers I have found uh, work very, very well uh, to get stuff um, that I need to get um, splinters out, all sorts of different things, and then they just snap back into that little holder. Again, very cheap on Amazon, uh, not too much at all. This, getting a little bit pricier, this is a Swiss Army Alox, and this is a full-size uh, Swiss Army Alox knife. I really love these knives. I've got them in a variety of colors. Uh, they're super sharp um, and they're a little bit bigger uh, than, a, than a regular Swiss Army knife, but they've got several different tools on here, most being a primarily a knife. But they've also got a bottle opener, a little pry bar, which I've got another one in here and I'll show you. Uh, then they've got a, um, another little kind of can opener kind of deal, and this is a sharp edge right here. To where you can actually you know pry stuff like that it's got a little screwdriver thing right there um, and then of course the patented the nail file and uh, another little kind of pry bar um, picker you know getter out or whatever you want to call them i don't even know what the technical term is for it but these are just solid got a nice good looking texture on them you can grip them really easily and mine has been around the block just a little bit i love it i love those swiss army a -loxes. This is a new edition. Uh, I say a new edition. It's a new old edition. This is my Griffin Pocket Tool. And this is a pry bar, of course, you can see. But it's got ridges here on the side. It's also got a bottle opener and a wrench that does different sizes throughout the bottom of it. You can also clip it onto something or hang it from a lanyard or anything like that that you would want to. And you're very probably familiar, if you know EDC tools, you're very familiar with the Griffin Pocket Tool. Uh, this is the second one I've bought. The first one uh, I have is in another set, another toolkit, and um, this is almost brand new, so it hasn't been used very often. I decided to use it for the video. And I believe our last tool in here that I always seem to need is a pen. This is the Fisher Space Pen in black. It forms to a full-size pen uh, that you can write with. It's a normal kind of length but then it compresses down into a very, very small size uh, pen for that. Very, very good pen. Can write in 
all sorts of different conditions. Very, very good for writing the rain books as well as field notes if you're taking those around. Uh, it'll write upside down in zero gravity if you find yourself in that situation. So yeah, and uh, these are all the tools I have in my Ultra Mini EDC.